Qu'est-ce qui t'a poussé à, à écrire Taxi Dress en 2012? I think I was really interested in how dating apps and social media influence people's lives and the way they try to live uh, and build relationships. You know, in these kind of dating apps, you always um, get the impression that there is the possibility to find a perfect partner because there's so many things that you can tick and, you know, you can actually compose your perfect partner. But then, um, first of all, it's really difficult to find that person and, and you know, it, it's almost like um, shopping for someone. It's almost like creating the, the perfect product that you want to buy. And, and that creates a lot of frustration. And, and also you create this kind of fiction about a future partner rather than meeting someone and creating a relationship exactly. together with them kind of by improvising, by going along from day to day. So I got actually interested in the drama of um, this whole relationship industry, really, you know, dating apps. Uh, all the workshops that you can visit and, and all the coaching industries and the psychotherapies and you know when people concentrate so much on themselves and then they become really isolated in a way and they just focus on their on their individual problems they never reach out to anymore for other people and they never see you know that actually we need to form communities and you know, solidarity with, with other people and, and are so, so focused on themselves and their, you know, perfectioning of, of themselves and so on. Yeah. Do you have a question for me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in my piece I'm also um, writing about political movements at the time. So I was wondering um, how you transfer them actually into, into your culture, but I was interested in yeah, how you would deal with these yeah. texts. In 2012, we had in Quebec a big, we had kind of our Occupy, we called it, uh, uh, on l'a appelé le, le printemps era, donc c'est la, c'est les, les étudiants sont sortis dans la rue, um, puis je crois que la pièce m'a beaucoup fait ressortir ça, j'ai tout repris, qu'est-ce qui s'était passé en 2012, qu'est-ce qui fait que des êtres individualistes comme nous avaient envie de sortir dans la rue et s'impliquer, um, puis au fond, ma livresse va chercher ça, Euh, dans, dans, dans l'écriture. Euh, Est-ce qu'on a encore des rêves? Est-ce qu'on a encore un projet collectif à travers tous nos petits égaux, euh, puis tout ce qui, euh, toute la société qui nous amène vers toujours se centrer sur son petit nombril, sa petite personne, son, son, ses petits besoins? Euh, donc, je trouve que Rauch, Ivresse, se, se situe à la frontière justement entre nos besoins individuels très forts qui peut prendre tout toute notre vie ou, euh, ou la, la capacité de créer une œuvre citoyenne collective. Voilà, merci, voilà, merci. merci beaucoup.